And I hope you're all doing so well and welcome to this oil painting chat and a discussion about how to beat artist's block. Also, this week's weekly shout out goes to 3D Art. Please check out the channel, it is absolutely incredible. If you would like to be featured in my weekly shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell and comment. At the end of this video, there will be an oil painting time lapse of this dragon. I do hope you like it. I've been having so much fun painting dragons recently. I did actually get art block when painting this piece, so I thought I would chat about how to beat it and what I've been doing. This tip when you have art block and you're completely stuck is to take pictures of your art. This has been helping me so much. So I know some artists like to put their painting on their easel and then stand back and look at it and that really helps them. But to me, if I'm totally stuck during a painting, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I prefer to take pictures on my phone. During the day when I'm doing other things, I will check my phone and look at my pictures on and off of my painting. And I find this helps me so much because I can see the areas that I haven't painted, which bits I haven't filled in properly. And this just is so useful for me. For some reason, if I see it in picture form, I don't know why, it's so much better than just looking at the painting. The other thing you can do is to post a whip or a work in progress and you can post it on your social media and then ask your followers what they think you should do. I think this is so helpful because a lot of people have super generous nice followers I have incredible followers and they will give either suggestions or they'll just give encouragement which is great because it will stop you from just abandoning your painting and people are saying they really like your art then you'll think actually I should continue and I should finish just ask friends family loved ones what they think you should do with your art of course select the friends and the family and loved ones who are not extremely critical because if you show them and they're like it's rubbish don't bother finishing it <laughs> then there's no point so it's better to ask people you know are both encouraging and creative it would help if they're creative as well because they will get what you're doing and they will give constructive help or just encouragement do is to listen to classical music. I know I can hear you guys saying but it's boring. I personally love classical music but I don't love listening to it all the time. However when you're painting it will give you so much inspiration. You don't have to necessarily pick like upbeat classical music. You can pick any pieces but if you're listening to, if you prefer listening to like depressing rock music for example, I would choose instead to listen to depressing classical music. So it's so much better because there's something about the rhythm and the way that classical music is composed that it's really good for the brain so I personally think that classical music whilst you're painting or drawing it is absolutely incredible you know, find some Rachmaninoff or whatever <laughs> you know there are so many composers to choose one and most important actually which probably should be number one is to go outside there's nothing like going out experiencing nature breathing in the fresh air and especially during lockdown it's so important just to get out even if it's for 10 20 minutes be amongst nature find a tiny you know patch of grass if you live in a built-up area <laughs> find some trees there must be some somewhere I mean, even in london even in built-up areas you can find a little scrap of nature somewhere actually it's a great thing about london is that you have a lot of built-up areas and then you will have lots of parks so if you can find a place that has open air and nice space and if you can see some animals in nature it will completely change your outlook on your work. Final bonus tip to beat art block is to have a schedule. Have a time in the day where you paint, when you paint, because if you are having art block and you don't want to finish your art because you don't know where to go with it, if you put it aside for like a few days, you will put it aside forever. Because this happens to me, if I just put my work aside, I'm like, oh no, I can't be bothered with it because it's just as awful or whatever, I don't know how to finish it. And then I'll go back to it a few days later and then that's it. It's like, well, I'll do it later and then it never gets worked on again. So I would set aside time when you're constantly working on your art, it will actually push you to finish each piece because you have to go back to it and you have to work on it at that particular time. So I think that having a schedule is so important. Hope you liked this video and that you found it useful. Please let me know if you're experiencing art block and what you do to overcome it. And now I will join you, or join me, in this time lapse where I paint this dragon. And if you aren't already, please follow me on Instagram. You may be wondering 
if you visit my channel regularly why I've changed the background to my videos. This is actually a background that I started my sort of chatty painting videos with but then I changed to like a background that had my easel in because I like some of my art materials because I just thought it looked a little bit better. However, unfortunately, there's something very odd with my ring light and the way that it reflects light off my face. And I actually bought a new ring light a few months ago because the old one was constantly turning off, like just randomly. So I'd be in the middle of filming and then it would just shut off and I would find it really difficult to turn it on again. It just wouldn't turn on and have to fiddle around with the wires. And so I finally got a new one from Amazon, but it's a little bit unusual because the bit where you put your camera or your phone, it, it kind of like sticks out from the ring light. So sometimes when I'm filming, it kind of looks a little bit like foreshortened. So I feel as though when I'm looking at my face in my videos, that my face looks big and then my shoulders are really small. <laughs> it's like such a weird, like foreshortening thing going on. And then the light itself, although it is bright, it seems to not light up anywhere apart from my face. And although that is good in a way because it creates like a slightly blurred background, I find that sometimes when I look back at my art, sorry, at my videos, I can see a sort of fuzzy effect in the back, like behind me, which I also find super distracting. You know, sometimes when you look at people's videos and if the lighting is really poor, you're sort of like, oh, I can't see what's going on. So it's a little bit frustrating and I may change my setup even again after this, but I just think it, with the background that I have now is better because it's, I'm facing a window and there was a tree that was blocking some of the light that comes into this room. But in actual fact, just recently, that tree had gathered some like rot in it, inside it. So sadly, the tree had to be removed. And I was really sad because I'm really sentimental and anything like trees and nature, especially if I regularly see it, I feel really sad when it goes. I don't know if I'm the only one who's like that, but I sort of felt really sad when the tree disappeared, it had to be chopped down. But on the other hand, it has left a lot of light where I am. So I've actually been able to um, have a brighter area workspace, which has been really good. So I guess there's good and bad in it. But obviously I would prefer that the tree was still there just because trees are amazing. But you know, it, it's what it is. I just thought I'd take a quick moment to thank smaller art shops in the UK because I have been running out of materials during lockdown and some of the materials that I buy are pretty hard to find in certain you know bigger art stores and I have been ordering from smaller art shops and have been amazed by the incredible service that I've received and just generally like the experience has been incredible especially considering we're in Covid so I just want to say thank you to them and so I hope you all like this painting and I will see you next week. Take care, guys.